Indonesia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, enjoy today's video. So today's video, I'm going to be answering Q&A about me. So let's go ahead and start the video. Okay guys, so today, the tea is spilling. Like, spilling so much. So, if you guys noticed, a few days ago, I drew a story full of Q&A Q questions. And you guys have to like... If you guys don't understand, I'll put the picture right here. Uh, so basically, those pictures is like you just have to like type the numbers that it's have the question written. So yeah, I'm going to answer the questions. So the tea is spilling, and I'm exposing myself. So. The first ever question that I have been asked, and this question is on fire. Like, it's very spicy question. So, this person says 16. So, 16 is music. Single or taken? Well, <laughs> so Apparently, I'm single and apparently all my friends are single as well The second question and it's really juicy and this person hates 32 and 32 is unsaid word to an ex I have to be brave because maybe some of my family will watch this video and I'm going to be killed so basically yes I used to date a boy but not like giddy giddy up so yes uh, I used to date but I'm not the type to date I'm, I'm not like other people who like, uh, like give a sim to their boyfriend whatsoever no 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 I'm every boy that I date it's just no more. It's like a friendship. It just, just so you know, we didn't do much. So my life is sucks. Don't worry, I didn't do anything. My dating, all the boys that I date, it's just no more. No kids, no what, no hearts, whatever. Just, yeah, just. Later in the void. So as I said, um, every boy that I date, it's like a friendship date, something like that. We didn't do much, we just like hang out out, just, just that. So, I'm sorry to my ex. So, I want to say this for him. I will say, I wish you appreciate everything I do for you. But everything I do for him, like, help me this word. So, uh, the reason why I say, I wish you appreciate everything I do for you because, like, when he's in trouble, I always help him. For example, he didn't finish homework. I didn't do everything for him. It's just that I helped him how to do it and stuff. And whatever he told me to bring, I bring. Like, for example, bring food, something. I don't know, just anything. I will do them. And, um, I wish that you still have that gift. I appreciate everything that I give to you. So, if you're watching this video, um, I'm not sad about you. I'm I'm so angry at you. But if you still have that letter, just read it and try to be a good person. Cause now you're a very bad person, and I'm just disappointing of how you ditch all our friends, including me. And yeah. And I wish you still keep the letter and read it and try to be a better person. Like literally, like literally, oh, I wish. Okay. Hmm. So and then I also watch. By the way, if you are watching this story, why would you date? Why would you date my best friend? Why would you date me? So basically, what happened is that story time. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I also say I wish we never met each other. Uh, because um, this question is asking about my ass and stuff, so 
so just gonna tell you the story of how we break up. So, so uh, and how we get together. So first of all, we met in a school, Chinese school. He is a Malay person, and he's one day he get he sits beside me, and first of all we fight a lot, a lot. But he likes to bully me, and I like to bully him that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm that type of person, I would like to give payments. So, let's do a lot and stuff. And then, one day, this <laughs> kind of tragic things happen. Uh, suddenly, my mouth started to bleed. I think it's my lips, something I forgot. And suddenly, he's be, be, being so caring and then now uh, walk me through uh, a sink to wash it off or wash it off and then go to the clean, uh, school cleaner and stuff so yeah that's how it started and stuff and and how does it go and then we ask each other through a letter okay through a letter and then we to get it whatsoever i don't care <laughs> i'm sorry it's just personal so I, i'm not going to tell the whole story and we are in a good relationship very good a very good and experienced relationship then for his birthday, I gave him a gift, a goodie bag full of chocolate, his favorite chocolate was ever, and with a letter which is very personal, and you guys shouldn't know that. And yeah, and then, how we pick up? Well, it's a very sad story, and a very tragic story as well. So, apparently, apparently, while we were dating, I noticed that he started to hang out with my best friend a lot, like a lot. Then I started to feel like he didn't treat me really like he used to. So I, I was okay. I cannot tell lah. Uh, it's so sad. Okay. It turns out. He cheated on me with my best friend. My best friend. But like, I'm not even joking. This is my best friend. And my my best friend knows that we were dating, but she still wants to date him. And usually I will tell you story. Like only this situation, me and my other best friend knows about, and we always not always used to always talk about it and now uh, okay. <laughs> and then I was too stupid to continue our relationship and then pain doesn't stop there and um, apparently after he cheated with my other my best friend he cheated with my other best friend and my heart my other best friend which is so the total he cheated with is three of my best friends. So the third, I think the second or third best friend, I kept with it because I can't take it anymore. And I think that um he's not good for me, and it's a very toxic relationship. And I don't think that I want him anymore. So yeah. and. Thank God that year was 2018, which is year six, and we are moving to another school, like our secondary school. So yeah, thinking about it is just so sad. It's a very traumatizing. The fact that they hold hands behind, in front of me, behind my back, they sit together and hold hands in front of me. It's just that I have no feelings today. The fact that he never says sorry. Here's the thing. He always says when he talks to me, he's he never says so politely. He's so rude. Like it's a long time ago, and it's been four years. The next question is twenty three and twenty four. So twenty three is first impression on me about me so I said uh, this is about my best friend maybe it's me um, so my first impression about her 
She's a she was like a very fun person to hang out with and a very adventurous person. <laughs> and I'm so I'm sorry, but I also did thought that you are a boy and you can talk Malay like so he she talks Malay so I'm very sorry. Don't don't be angry. But so for twenty four is favorite memory of us. So our my favorite memory of us is where we go for a school trip to Penang and we we go to this place I don't remember what it called but it's a place like it's, you learn science and stuff and then yes there's something you, you can climb the wall and then there's a huge slide and the spinning thingy I, I I don't remember sorry we ride on a bus, we eat things and whatsoever and then there's a little shop where we buy uh, where we eat lunch and then we buy ice cream. That's my favorite memory ever. The fact that we travel to Penang is just amazing. How far do we travel? And the whole place is huge and very cold and very nice. But it's in a mall in front of the top or something. So yeah, I forgot what it means. What it calls but it's the best place ever. So, the next question is 25. I'm just sad so yeah yes I'm still friends with her she too she's still texting me and stuff but I'm just I just feel like at this point I don't want to hang out with her anymore it's just like that kind of feeling but in front of her I look happy and stuff and she her really really good but actually I that's how I feel I feel sad and my other best friend knows about it, so yeah. So keep a, keep in mind, I have a lot of best friends, and all the girls and stuff. I did. Some of them are boys. So first, we have Layla, and then Izzy, uh, Yuxing, um, Divya, Yiling, Lasi, Farisha, Sakura. For my childhood life, yeah, who is it? I'm trying to remember all of, it. All of them. We hmm. scared a lot of them. Oh, yeah, Wendy and stuff, and yeah, a lot of them. I cannot, I cannot like tell every detail about them. So, that's probably, I think, I have like. 30 plus best friends which is girls so yeah a few moments later so question number six 
Oh, there's two questions that asking me number six. What is number six? C -c Crush? Fine. Now, I have a crush. But, I'm not gonna tell who is it. Where he's from. And where I mean, no, I'm not gonna tell you. Because, we are not together. Mm. Yeah, no, for that. He just my, for now he's just my crush and I have a crush. What the fuck? So the next question, well, this person asking three questions at the same time. So she asked question number one, two, and three. So my height. I'm sorry, but I don't really remember every detail of it. So I'm one one hundred sixty or 160 above I, I forgot 160 something my age is 50 but this year I'm 60 when is my birthday? 90 September 2006 so I, on that day I'm going to be 60 so the next question oh number 7 8 and 15 so number 7 is ever fell in love obviously everyone has so Number eight, ever got heartbroken? Yes, so many times. And one example is just now, so I'm not gonna tell anything. But uh, number fifteen, had your first kiss? No, obviously no. It's haram. Wait, it's haram. Obviously you can. How stupid. <laughs> but no. Later in the void. So okay, eighteen. Your biggest fear. Well, my biggest fear is to be alone because it's just lonely and scary because without a best friend, without someone, it's so scary because you are like alone, like no one to talk to and it's just boring. So, so yeah. My worst habit, which is question number 20, well my worst habit is I always hurt myself easily, not like, not like, no, no, not that kind of hurt that like I always hurt myself very easily for example I got stapler accidentally stapler my finger <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me I accidentally I accidentally cut myself I accidentally hook my hands which is right here I don't know if you guys can can see it yeah here I got Hanger, the very jump hanger. I got. Oh wow! I fell on my back for several times. And yeah. Oh yeah. I even go to the hospital because I have a very high fever, and I still have the scarf, which is here. Yeah, my hospital scarf. And this happened during. I got fever, which is scary. Okay. And a lot of things. My worst habits. So. And I'm doing when I'm wearing braces, I got my tongue stuck to the braces, which is so scary and it's so painful. So <laughs> so my basically my worst habit is clumsiness. So So number 12 and 13. Current favorite song. So my current favorite song is a TikTok song from uh from TikTok actually. It called it's called Lost from Frank something. And then two of the songs are from Coco Queen. Uh one of her songs named Stories and uh, one more is All About Her Life song. I I don't remember but I will put it here so yeah. And my favorite movie is Encanto. It's a very fun movie so I recommend it for you guys to watch it and yeah. Number 14. How do you feel out words? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm good. Uh, number 39. What's on your mind right now? Doritos. Yesterday, I have a class party and someone brought a huge, humongous bag of Doritos. So, I did. so number 34. Something you miss. Well, obviously, all my friends and some of my favorite members. And also the movies that I have um, in the future, so yeah. Number 26 and number 
question you guys. Okay, now I was gonna say a celebrity crush. So I used to have a crush on a YouTuber called Gary Menes. Now I have a crush. Yes, used to be. Now I have a crush on a TikToker named Miles. So yeah. And number 29, Secret Dads. Again, obviously you guys know again dance and do the best ever. Again dance. I can sing. I'm not gonna <laughs> sing for you guys. A couple of reasons why. Uh, I can do a bridge. The bridge. The, excuse me. The bridge with my body. <laughs> Thanks to my best friend Lila for teaching it. And currently I'm trying to learn a handstand. So, yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't believe me, I will put a video right here. So, yeah. For the last and final question, it's a very weird question. So number 31, five way to win your heart. Why? Why are you asking me this? Okay, if I'm answering, answering this honestly. Um, if someone wants to win my heart, he needs to be... He or she. Uh, that person needs to be very loyal, very nice. When I say nice, treat me right and then talk to me like very calm and you know and a funny person who makes me laugh. Um a very um the person who can give me attention to report seven because I love to like text people suddenly like to chat someone. Number five treat me how I treat him. For example, um, I treat him well. Someone, the way I treat him, I want him to treat me like that. I don't want much. I don't want that person. How to say this? I need like, a person because if he's uh, because that person is rich or famous, I, I don't care. I care if the person is so nice and everything that I just said is now. Yeah. And the person who understands about me and don't want any changes for me, like, like some person that I met in my life want me to change myself. And I, I almost changed myself, but my best friends remind me not to change myself, so yeah. Hey guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like this video. If you guys want more videos, please give me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, my knees.